Gusty winds and a wicked sun glare made last night's 7 p.m. star a challenge for freedom goalie Ryan Hathaway. And Parkland's offense was ready to take advantage of the blind spots. In the opening drive, Parkland's Jacob Parker let it rip, but Hathaway somehow fought the sun and came up with his first save of the night. Freedom's offense then posted the first goal of the evening. Sophomore mid Jared Karabinis scored with 10 minutes and 35 seconds to go in the opening quarter. Parkland didn't take long to respond, though. One minute later, cutters were flying in front of the Freedom net, and Adam Medeleviches connected with Matt Barocco to tie the score. The Trojans then went on a run from there, scoring six unanswered goals in the first quarter. Anthony Schultz cut middle here, assisted by Chase Cusco. Parker then added two more after that to give the Trojans a 6-1 lead heading into the second. Freedom went on to record four more scores before halftime, but Parkland still had a six-goal edge at intermission, and ultimately the Trojans won the game 16-10. Uh, you know, we knew they were going to be good coming in. Um, they've been putting up a lot of goals. Uh, Connor Bevan, he's been scoring a lot. And uh, I don't know, I think we just put in a really nice game plan to, to get ahead of them. So we never looked back. We really thought they were going to do well against us, but we came out of the gates hot. So we kept out of the reach the whole time. Communication and passing was key for Parkland in this matchup. Schultz said he actually benefited the most from their communication inside as he recorded four goals. Uh, I feel great. Obviously, I couldn't have done it without uh, without Chase. You know, he was really really looking inside for me the whole time. But we were working on that at practice together, so it worked it worked out really well. They weren't really packed in at all, so that was really wide open on the crease, and we got a lot of looks in there. Uh, I think it's great. This is a good confidence booster heading into next week. We got Easton and uh, Mayus next week, so uh, it's really positive. From Freedom High School for the Service Electric Network, I'm Courtney Dupont.